Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Tandy Writes. This is a video that I was kind of hesitant on making for a while because it's more about music than books and writing, which is why I'm trying to focus most of this channel's content. But I kept thinking about it, so I think it is time for me to introduce the soundtrack to my book, which is basically the writing playlist that I listen to while writing the book. This is an idea I've been considering for a while, but I've seen that I've personally seen Rainbow Rowell um, up on this shelf up here, we're not going to show that. I saw that she did these kind of like annotated playlists for Eleanor and Park and for the Carry On series. And I know that definitely other authors have also done this, but this is just where I saw it. So it's my reference point. And I very much loved reading the annotated playlists and the inspiration and then being able to associate these songs to what I can remember from the book. So I think it's that's finally convinced me that yes, I need to do this for myself. I'm not usually someone who listens to music while writing. I do have these playlists on, but very quietly because I'm so very easily distracted that I would prefer full silence. But I do make these playlists as like a soundtrack to the finished story, like a soundtrack to a film. And obviously, if this book somehow became a film or like a TV series in the future, in the far future, I would love if these songs appeared on it. Most songs are picked because they sound a way that fits the scene in my head. Some are picked because they have a very few specific lyrics that fit perfectly to the characters. So in this little video, we're going to try and explain some of the choices, and this is a shortened version of the playlist, otherwise we would be here forever. Let's begin. The first song on the playlist is Ever After by Marriage Trench, and it makes sense to be the first song because it's also the opening track to the album of the same title. And I chose this song because this book in many ways is very much a tribute to the Ever After album. It's a very fantastical and theatrical album and so much of the inspiration for Paper Forest was plucked directly from the, I don't say the album again, but the storyline for the album. There's a lot of music videos that have been put together to make a story, there's promotional images, there's um, in the lyric booklet there is a storyline and I was so in love with this. I think I first heard this album around the time when I was writing this one because I believe I put a song from the album onto the playlist. Um, yep, yeah. By Now by Marius Trench is also on this album so this you can see that it's been with me for a while. Another thing that I very much love about this song is that it's also constructed to fit like the very classic fairy tale narrative as in it opens with a once upon a time it ends with not at the end, but a goodbye. And I just love, I love anything classic fairy tale. The next one on the playlist is Buzzcut Season by Lord. And this album, the Pure Heroine album, was something that I listened to a lot in the very like early days when I was thinking of the book and kind of writing it in my head, but not really putting the words onto a page yet. Um, this song specifically is very like equally dreamy and gloomy. And I think that I read is about teenagers who are kind of being driven crazy by the darkness of war. And I thought it would relate to Paper Forests because the characters are being driven insane by the afterlife. The next one on the playlist is Cancer by My Conquer Romance, which is very fitting because the book originally started out as what was basically a fan fiction for the concept for My Conquer Romance's fifth album, which I believe was going to be titled The Paper Kingdom, but then they broke up and it obviously didn't come out. Also, this playlist has a lot of my Conquer Romance songs because when I was writing this book many, many years ago, they were all I listened to. Dance is not a poetic track, and I think that's what I love so much about this song in particular. It's very direct and very beautiful, and that's the way that Cancer is. In this song, Cancer is kind of equally being used literally and as a metaphor. I chose it as it obviously relates to a character, but this very tragic, bleak tone stands out from all the other songs on this playlist. And it's kind of like it's been split into two sections. And this section is very much about August. The next song is Forest by 21 Pilots. And you can probably guess it's on this playlist because it's called Forest. This song describes a place where the singer Tyler could go and find a group of people who all knew the same music. A lot of the lyrics reference the childhood imagination and insecurity. And they're themes that I try to explore a lot in this book. And if you listen to the song and ignore the lyrics and just focus on the music, the forest sounds like quite a pleasant place. The next song is Heaven is a Place by Amber Run. 
and this is a very haunting love song. The lyrics of it are so sweet and so beautiful, but the melody is kind of like a funeral march. And that contrast between light and dark themes is something that I try to represent in Paper Forests, as well as this love story that's been cursed from the start. So this song felt perfect. Also, Amber Run's second album, it's called For a Moment I Was Lost, and it's just full of perfect songs. But this song, Heaven is a Place, specifically is the soundtrack for chapter 13. No further comments. So next on the playlist is another My Chemical Romance song, and it is The Light Behind Your Eyes from the Conventional Weapons, those songs that came out. I think it was on Twitter, but Gerard Way said that this song is a song about mortality, along with other ideas. I think he gave a very vague, open to interpretation description of it. In the YouTube comments of one of the fan-made lyric videos, a fan describes this song as, well, their interpretation was that it's a love letter or a eulogy to fans struggling with mental health issues. And I think that's a beautiful interpretation of the song, and that is the interpretation that I lean towards when I was thinking of the song for the book. The next song is Love A Dearest by Marrow's Trench from their Masterpiece Theatre album, which is one of my favourite albums of all time. So Josh Ramsey, who's the lead singer and the songwriter, and he is Marianne Trench, said that this is a song he wrote in rehab as a love letter to his addiction. There's a lot of pieces of Josh's personality and his life story that I've nitpicked and borrowed and taken parts from for Oliver, and I hope that it does come off as a tribute rather than an insult. I chose the song because it's very metaphorical, the lyrics are addictive and obsessive and hopeless, and you can interpret them to be about whatever you want, but I chose for them to be about Oliver. The final song from this place that we're going to talk about is The End of All Things by Panic at the Disco, which I think is from Too Weird to Live, Too Red to Die, one of my favourite albums of theirs, but I do believe in vices and virtues supremacy. When I was writing the notes for this video, when I was thinking of it in blog post form, I was going through picking different lyrics from each song that I felt best represented the song in the context of this book. And I didn't have a lyric for this song because I really didn't know them until the exact moment that I sat down and started writing the post. I chose this song purely because of how it sounds. I think Brendan Urey said that this song was kind of meant to be wedding vows. And he said he wrote a song to express how in love and infatuated he was with his wife. Or he is with his wife. To me, it's another extremely haunting love song, and it sounds like a eulogy, and that is why it is the epilogue of this playlist. I have decided. I am very pleased that I spoke about these songs, because music is such a big part of my life, but I am not musically inclined at all. But I am writing inclined, which is why I go that way. But god, I wish I could do music so bad. So yeah, that's the playlist for the book, and hopefully one day it will be the soundtrack to a very far in the future film or TV show. I hope you enjoyed this video and my song choices, and I also hope to see you next time. Bye!